Will Ma be able to successfully confess to Subomi and not get a no for an answer? Did he get isekai'd at the end? Did he die? Welcome back to another episode of Mob Psycho. Now, she was about to go confess to Tsubomi and everybody... I think no one is expecting her to say yes. Like, I'm sorry man, but I haven't seen anything that leads me to believe that Tsubomi is even mildly interested in Mob in a romantic way. I think they're just, you know, children, just childhood friends. But before we even got to confess, we got hit by a fucking truck and we're getting isekai'd. Well, Trying to say isekai as a verb is probably not the right thing to say because that's like a western thing. Isekai basically already is a genre that is, I think, born again in a new world, so you can't use that. Anyway, Mob got isekai by a truck. No, he didn't actually die though, obviously. He's gonna get up, and then what? Here's what I was saying last episode. You know how I've been constantly trying to look for like a new threat of, okay, first it was Scar, and then it was the Divine Tree. And then I'm thinking, what's the next actual threat after that, you know? It was in front of us the entire time. It's probably gonna be Mob. And I thought it was gonna happen through him getting rejected by Tsubomi. And then he can't like contain all his emotions and explodes. And then he goes psycho and he goes berserk. And everybody has to come together to save, try to stop him. But if we get hit by a truck, what if he gets like, I don't know, some kind of brain damage, some kind of amnesia. He gets like memory loss and he just turns into a completely different person. Wouldn't that be fun? I don't know. Oh, but let's what happens in t let's watch what happens in today's episode kind of fucked if you look at my previous video like the thumbnail <laughs> it's mob just dying with bleeding out and i'm just like laughing wait the psychic powers is going oh he's jamming everything right now right so is he gonna go berserk from this crash maybe it's a walking calamity holy shit Oh, here we go! Here we go! Sedisa was gonna have to come out and play with the psychic powers. Everybody's gonna have to come together to try to fight this off. Oh my god, it's even affecting that? Like, that's crazy. Everybody's like, uh, glasses are gonna shatter. <laughs> the suspect is 160 centimeters. Oh, he's still holding the bouquet! Because he probably thinks that he's trying to, like, he has to make it to Tsubomi to confess. But, like, when you say the suspect is 160 centimeters, you know, it's... That doesn't sound that dangerous because it's not that tall, but, you know, context matters. So, I think it's safe to assume he's, like, beyond 100%. Maybe, like, question, question, question mark percent? He's walking menacingly! Teru, right? Uh, that's Teru's color. He can't stop Mob. No, he can't stop. No one can reason with him. He's not there. He's not, he's not willing to talk. He doesn't care about talking. Get out of his way, dude. He's got one place to go. And I think... I don't know where he's going. Maybe he thinks the, the park is in this direction. Okay, Teru. Okay. Yeah. Have you been training? It's not for you though. Oh my god. He looks so dangerous. That's just looking at him. Just a glance. I can't tell if he did anything or it just looked like just looking at him blew him away. Who can stop Mob? Maybe Tsubomi could. You know, this is like a situation like if you've seen like, you know, the Shonen series like Naruto where he goes nine tail fox mode, he goes berserk and no one can stop him. Hinata stopped him, right? I think Sakura maybe stopped him a couple times. Maybe Reagan could. Maybe. Yeah, with the scarf? Oh, he's using the scarf as like a kind of like a weapon. Did he ever do that before? He's just gonna be like, and then it's gonna, fuck. yeah. Rest in peace, scarf. I think he almost lost consciousness there for like consciousness there for a second. Careful! No, you need to dodge. A barrier's not gonna. Ooh. No one can reason with him though, unless maybe Reagan. Maybe Ritsu, family, or Tsubomi. Do Teru's character development insane though? I mean, he, even in season two, he was completely reformed. No, even in season one, like the immediate ap episode after he got bodied by Mob, he immediately reformed. But 
What a 180. He's hurting you right now, though. Teru? Move! Okay. Move, man. Dude, just leave. You can't. We need to get back up. Surprisingly, the flower is... Look at him care for the flower. Because he's still... I'm not sure if his consciousness is there. Uh, consciousness is there. Did you just destroy the flower? Okay, I'm like, if you did that, I'm like, you're dead. No, I think he almost tried. I think he might be testing. But, like, instinctively, he's trying to protect, you know, the thing that he was trying to deliver to Tsubomi. I'm not sure if he's completely there, but he still has that instinct to protect the flower and to go meet Tsubomi. Goodbye. That was, like, three different angles. We're not going to see Teru for a long time, are we? Oh, my God. Have you seen Invincible? Okay, I, I was gonna say, have you seen Invincible where they're like, a, the dad and the son is like throwing baseball across the earth and you do it in a straight direction, so if you throw it, they catch it from behind. I thought Teru might fucking go around and Mob would catch it behind. These walks. Step by step, it's so menacing. It's so menacing. Imagine if he started running. And oh, is he walking towards Teru? Oh shit, he's not done with you yet. Surprise Teru is still standing though. We need other espers. We need everybody back. Yeah, like... We need the flower shop. We need like the ultimate fire of uh... The flower shop guy. Said I was still here. Who else from the ultimate five is around? Fuck, remember the teleporting dude? That guy was so sick! Oh my god! Oh. Stop it! Oh, oh god. But we don't have time to care for others if mob is. Just a walking disaster, man. Yeah, he's having an episode, are you? No, just a bad day. Just a bad day, man. <laughs> he was trying his best, okay, but like you're not gonna be able to reason with this thing. Ah, oh, you're just having a bad day, right? Good old pal, right? Right? Uh -oh. This is a big AOE attack. Are the civilians actually gonna die? I don't think they would actually kill them. They were looking really bad, though. This is so omnipotent. This is like godlike. This is terrifying. Standing at 160 centimeters tall, man. This is the most menacing 160 centimeters tall, dude. Oh my god. Hang on there, dude. Someone's gotta someone's gotta intervene. Somebody. Yo, I think those shoes are really good quality if they're still, you know, holding on like that. Despite all the force coming from Mob. Damn. They're still going at it. What are those boxers made of? They're still on. Does he? I don't know. But I don't think anyone's going to be able to stop him other than like Tsubomi or his family. Maybe Reagan. Also, I don't want Teru to succeed right now, because I want this to go on, man. This is fucking hype content. Can you reach him? Deep inside the consciousness. You've lost control. Someone else is in the steering wheel. Wait, his hair! <laughs> what am I doing hair? You saw that, right? Wait, was he always just wearing a wig? Cause that happened in season one. I thought his hair grew back naturally, or did he just shave it up with his power again? <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but the running gag with Teru becoming bald. <laughs> <That's> so funny. <laughs> oh my god, Teru, your hair. Oh, I'm sorry. I should probably be more worried about the civilians around them getting hurt by this, but look at Teru's hair, man. Oh no. It's gonna take months to grow it back.
Oh my god, that pose with the hair like <laughs> I'm trying to take that seriously, okay? But I can't stop laughing. <laughs> he looks so ridiculous! That's always been like the theme with Teru though. Yeah? Yeah? Tell me! I'm here for you. Your friend! Damn. I'm not sure if he always had that barrier on everybody or if he got that after the collapse. If he always had that barrier on, that's crazy. Terra's really strong. Like, extremely strong. To be called mobs right. I. I don't know. I don't think Inu can really match Mob, but there is definitely one of the strongest for sure. It sounds like the sword dude. Yeah, <laughs> they're all working just normal jobs now. Oh my god, dude, he's such a typical manager type. <laughs> is he also one of these? Or was he the one that used the helix, like, you know, the arm, like the bomber attack? It's him though, do you recognize him? Can you hold him off? Oh yeah, wait, that's Mob, that's right. It's hard to recognize him with his hair all cool like this, right? I wish the hair was actually like longer. Like, it's kind of spoiled, but in Hunter x Hunter, you know how Gon, you know, does the thing and his hair gets really tall. We need more than these two though, but it's nice that I feel like at this rate we're gonna meet everybody from the previous seasons, right? Or at least I hope. Oh, he uses the metal pole now? He uses the box. What happened to your, you know, katana? Oh shit, government's like sending in. Holy. What are these like ex convicts or convicts but superpower convicts? Yeah, no, this guy is from the government, I think. Because there was people that infiltrated its scar, and that was from the government. I think he's one of them, right? Because he had the smoking power. Yeah, I, I think so. It's not what It doesn't matter. The numbers doesn't matter, right? No matter how many ants you have, you can't compare with an elephant. You need another elephant. It's not gonna work. The loot. Oh. Oh! Dad! The ex leader has appeared. I'm sure his son has to show up too, right? Show. Yes. He's got a little bit of history. <laughs> I just said that you don't need, you know, numbers. We need another. Elephant, not an ant. Okay, we, we got an elephant here. Did I miss something? Not Tori? Was that someone he used to work with? Okay, he's dropping. Holy shit, here we go. We got the drop, boys. This kind of reminds me of like Battle Royale games where you drop in. I was kind of losing hope near the end. And you know how I was constantly looking for what's the new third? What's the new third? And after the Divine Tree, I was really clinging on the hope of uh, maybe UFOs come and invade us. And then after the UFO arc, I was like, you know what? I'm fine with it. No extra threat. We don't need some kind of hype battle to end the season. We can just continue with the slice of life and end it with character interactions. Psych! Mobs come berserk! Well, not with the way that I guessed, right? I thought that maybe him getting denied by Tsubomi would make him go berserk. No, no, no. Got hit by a truck. Thank you, truck driver, for doing this. This is gonna make for some hype content. Mobs come berserk. And now it seems like everybody that we've met from season one, two, and three is gonna come and save us. Now! Scar's ex-boss is dropping in. Show will probably show up no matter what. Like, Ritsu's also going to show up. I'm sure the flower guy, you know, the uh, the ultimate five, like the flower guy and uh, Zenitawa is still going to be there. I hope that the teleporting dude, you remember him? The guy that never opened his eyes, but he was one of the coolest dudes of the ultimate five. God damn, he was so cool in the fights. And then, and then, the final Timpo theory. Will Dimple show up with the Divine Tree and suck Mob's power away and that's how they get him back to normal? Or will it be more of like, I don't know, 
like the more cliche way of stopping someone that's gone berserk with someone like a family member or maybe Reagan, someone that's close to you, or even Tsuomi. That would be really high, but Tsuomi is able to reach mob right now and kind of stop. Maybe that's the only thing that can stop it. I don't really know, but we'll find out. But hey, if you stick around this song and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one. It helps the YouTube logo push out my small channel to recommend this one. I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.